to Creature Features. I'm your host, Vincent. This is a lovely Tangella. In the dashing chap on this side is Mr. Livingston. The Ape. 1940. That is tonight's film. And I, dear viewers, am not at all amused. By all means, do continue. Any horror film that commences with circus music playing over the title sequence cannot be worthy of the genre classification of horror. Even if it is, in fact, starred by the legendary Boris Karloff, I still doze off every time I see it. And while it has been two years, one month, and 24 days since our last broadcast of this film, those 67,777,600 seconds which have elapsed since that time have done virtually nothing to ameliorate my woeful impressions of this particular film. And it may put you to sleep as well. My apologies in advance. If I remember correctly, we received quite a few letters commending this film. And if I remember correctly, said letters were all penned from the same assisted living facility in Vero Beach, Florida. While I greatly value the opinion of our most elder of viewers, they do seem to have a positive bias towards any film we present which was originally released during the Roosevelt administration. But enough about the film! You are here to see our special guest, and tonight, the amazing human which will be sat in our red chair will be our old friend and legendary animator, Rick Farmelo. Rick has worked on a virtual plethora of Disney and other films, including Aladdin, Curious George, Beauty and the Beast, The Little Mermaid, The Simpsons Movie, and too many more for me to highlight in this brief introduction. He'll tell us what is new and exciting in the world of animation, chat us up about all his new projects, and help me to explain to Livingston, why tonight's film is such an incredible snooze fest. So don't go away, for it's going to be another night of animated delight right here on Creature Features. Stay tuned. Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. Hey, it's Spooky Boo. Trouble sleeping at night? Need a little help? Relax and listen to some spooky, scary stories. I have ghosts and goblins, witches and demons, crazies and clowns. Check out Spooky Boo's Scary Storytime at www.scarystorytime.com.
There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. Welcome to Creature Features. It's that time. You know what time it is. It's time to have Rick Farmalo back on the show. Yes. Rick, we've missed you. I've missed you too, Vincent. You know, he's been busy. He's been, you know, he's an animator. He's been doing like fabulous animation mm -hmm. and still photos too. Mm -hmm. You're like a movie camera and a still photograph right. camera. Yeah. Right? With your art. Versatile, your yeah. yeah. So it's been what, a year? Seems like it, yeah. It's been a while it since since, feels since like I've been here. Yeah, five years. Yeah, I and we're it. gonna watch this movie, The Ape. I can't wait. I love it. No, love I, Boris you know, Karloff. I've seen it. It's not Boris's best film. No, surprisingly, it's not his best no, film. No, no. But we're we're gonna pretend like we like it for you guys because <laughs> if we didn't, then it'd be a terrible show. Yeah. So we're gonna hear all about what you're doing. Okay. Right, and we're gonna hear about all your projects and all you've done. Great. Before, but first, let's get to this film, right? Let's do it. All right, off we go to the ape. You guys stay with us. And that ends the ape. I, you know, it's supposed to be a happy ending, at least for the girl. Well, somebody had a happy ending, yeah. Well, so many people died in this film. Yeah. It was full of, oh, my goodness. Mm. You know, that's how you know if Tangela's going to like a film. It's, it's by the body count. Mm -hmm. She's wearing a Mickey Mouse hat Aww. just for you. I guess Aww. it's a Minnie Mouse hat, right? That's cool, yeah, I like it. Yeah, she's seen all your movies. Really? Every single one. Oh, great. She's made me watch them like 10 times. Uh -oh. And I have nothing against your films, but after 10 times, that's it's, a lot. It gets yeah. old. That's more than I could take. So. Yeah. But she also loves your full moon cartoons. Good. So, oh, you that's know, nice to hear. If you put me in it, I'm going to have some trouble with her if you don't put her in as well. Mm, okay. And All I right. imagine I'll keep that Livingston mind. will grumble as well. No, thank you. Let's see. Oh, well. See, he's playing hard to get. Yeah. All right. Well, so first off, how do we find out more about uh, you? Well, the, I mean, I don't have my own website. I am on Facebook, just Rick Farmelow. But um, the Full Moon Cartoons, you can find them on Facebook as Full Moon Cartoons. So just go to Full Moon Car Cartoons. Exactly, and you can find them. And then on, anyway. Instagram, on Instagram, they're on. it's also available, uh, Full Moon Cartoons Official. So you just Instagram. add official at the end, yep. and you're all done. Yeah. 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 So what are you doing next? Um, well, I'm still working on DuckTales, which I'm loving. Right. Uh, Convention-wise, um, we are doing the LA Comic Con. I've never heard of this one. Um, coming up in, I've heard of in October. Comic -Con, but LA Comic -Con. Oh, the LA Comic Con used to be Stan Lee's Kamikaze. Oh. And then, he, of course, he passed away. So now it's called the LA Comic Con, and we love doing that show. Uh, and it's what city? In, it's in LA. Like at, downtown? At, at the LA Convention Center, yeah. Wow. Yeah, and it's a, it's a great show. Well, I that's mean, great. Lo so lots you're going to have people. like a display. We'll have a we'll have a booth and a display, and and you know a uh, lot of lot of fans. Hopefully, will come over really? and see us, and yeah, oh, it, it should yeah. be pr pretty big. I bet big. he has millions of fans. Oh, no, lots. Yeah, I bet your PO box looks bigger than ours. We have a little tiny one, mm -hmm. so it looks full. So right. it always you looks get full. two letters and right. it looks full. Yeah. No, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. All right, Rick. Well, thank you so much for My coming. My pleasure. And, you know, you need to come up more often. I would love to. There's too much I news will. to fit into one episode with you. Yeah. I, we I, have I, to like spread it out as it happens. Okay. All right. As far as you guys are concerned, thanks for staying up with us. It's been a fun night, right? Right. She <laughs> says it was a fun night. It probably was. It was for me. I think it was for Rick. Yes. And hopefully it was for you as well. But next week may be funner. Maybe not. You never know. It's a gamble with us. <laughs> we'll see you then. So, uh, Rick, this uh, convention, mm -hmm. LA Comic Con. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'd really like to go to this convention. You think I might be able to tag along? 
Well, I don't know. Uh, you know, Vincent, I mean, really, you might be a little unconventional. 